Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you a method to measure small resistance, less than one ohm, for example. This one is 0.47 ohm, or, for example, we will want to know what is the resistance of an alligator clip. Now, if you use a multimeter to measure the resistance, you will get a false reading for small values of resistance, especially if you use a cheap multimeter such as this one. Trying to read values of less than 1 ohm will give you the wrong value. If we use the multimeter to check the value of this resistor that has a nominal value of 0.47 ohms, we get a reading of 1.47 ohms, that is more than double the real value. And the main reason for this error is in the leads of the multimeter that have an internal resistance. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. In this case, we can use the four wire method to measure the resistance, which is nothing more than an application of Ohm's law. The name for wire is because we need an ammeter and a voltmeter in order to make the measurement. So we need two wires from the ammeter and another two from the voltmeter. So we connect the resistance to a battery or a voltage source and the ammeter in series, of course. Therefore, the current that flows in a series circuit, as you know, will be always the same. Therefore, the current that goes through the ammeter is exactly the same as the current that flows through the resistance, independently of the resistance of the leads in the ammeter. This resistance can be high or low, however, we will always have the same value of currents in the resistance and the ammeter. Also, we use a voltmeter in order to measure the voltage in the resistance terminals. In this case, the current that flows through the leads of the voltmeter will be very small and therefore the resistance of the wires has no effect because the loss of voltage in the leads will be very very small due to the low value of the current. Of course, you can use two multimeters in order to do this measurement. Now, we have the value of current and voltage in the resistance, and we can use Ohm's law in order to obtain the value of resistance simply by dividing the voltage and the current. Ok, I have connected the resistor to the power supply, I am applying 1 volt and this multimeter is reading the current, it is 0 0.55, 0 0.56 amps and this other multimeter will be used to read the voltage. So let me see in the resistor terminals, we have 0 0.55 26 volts and 0.55 amps. With these two values we will obtain the resistor value using Ohm's law. Ok, let's do the math. We have a voltage of 0.26 volts divided by 0.55 amps. And this gives a value of 
0.473 ohms, which is just the nominal value of our resistor. So there you have it, four wire method to measure small values of resistance. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.